most of this uh, most of this varas will be common uh, most of so shankaravaram kalyani are right no they are not <laughs> why all sarvam except one sarvam is all the same no only mativa is different but all the other sarvas are the same correct but the shankaravaram and kalyani are right will you call them all right ragas most part of the raga bhava is the same okay good answer any other answers their origin is the same melakarta the origin melakarta okay i'll answer that question okay let any more answers anybody else has any other he says raga bhava he says the swaras are almost the same he says that the origin of the raga is the same any answers any other answers no raga chaya is the same raga chaya is different is the same if raga chaya or both ragas are same then what makes the ragas different then why have two ragas if raga chaya or two ragas are the same then you can sing them as one raga no why have two okay two. i'll answer all the different suggestions that have come one he said origin i like to make a correction on that this mela karta scheme came later raga scheme first so when i say for example uh x raga is uh, this is janya janaka concept we say janya janaka you say x raga the melakarta is this raga it means that i have decided or venkata makhi has decided or govinda has decided that because these ragas have these swaras it can be put under that raga does not mean that this raga came from that raga please understand there is a big difference kamboji did not come from hari kamboji kamboji is a janya of hari kamboji because there are the swaras that are there are similar so we have decided since it has almost the same ragas the same swaras sorry we will put it under hari kamboji okay so this whole mela karta my person this is all I, whatever i say is my personal opinion so you can take it or you don't have to take it mela karta how many science students are here any science students okay it is like the you would everybody would study the periodic table yeah. everybody is study periodic table mela karta scheme is like the periodic table it is for convenience sake now when you are a student of music you would like to know you have say nayaki okay what is this say nayaki what about nayaki okay nayaki comes from this raga this has this swaras so it gives you a logic so mela karta scheme is only for convenience nothing more full stop i put a big full stop there it is for nothing more it does not in any way teaches anything about the raga athana for example is the janya of shankara bharam but athana is a raga that is totally different from shankara bharam there is no association except that some notes are common so so if i learn to sing shankara bharam will i be able to understand athana never in your lifetime unless you know 10 krithis in athana you will never know to sing athana so melakarta scheme is only for convenience so the origin of the raga has got nothing to do with the mela of the raga okay just to clarify the origin is different from the mela mela is a convenience now about the same swaras which he said there is a problem if you say this like i showed you kalyani and shankaravar are the allied if you just if you define like this then it becomes a problem then then what i am says you know all the chakras in the melakartas the six six chakras all the six ragas are like because there is only one note that changes in each of them no so it is not necessary that they have to that it is well i will say definitely that they do have common notes but they that necessarily does not define an alai raga okay shankaravan and ka and kalyani have almost the same notes i actually i'm going to talk about those kind of ragas also today but i'll come to them at the end because they are very interesting uh then the other one raga bhav this is i think a closest definition that we get that the 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 general bhav of the raga is more or less the same but there is a very big difference it's uh, i'm contradicting myself it is almost the same but very big difference that what that's what makes the raga allied to the other so when i say naiki darbar in fact i'm going to take naiki darbar as the first allied raga that's why i sang naiki are two ragas that have exactly the same swaras there is no swara that is different between naiki and darbar it has the exactly same swaras but they are totally different ragas people get confused very easily between two but they are very very different 
uh, in many ways. So, Raga Bhava is, a, is possibly the closest definition that you can come. Raga Bhava, that is almost the same but yet different. Now, let's start with Nayaki and Dharva. Hmm. So, Nayaki and Dharva. Oh, okay. Now, these are very interesting uh, set of ragas. Like I said, they have exactly the same rules. Another important thing is that the krama or the arohana avarohana krama is not what defines their aliveness. I hope you understand what I am saying. That is, for example, one raga has padasa, one raga has padapanisa. Two ragas. If, no, if two ragas and one raga has padasa and padapanisa. This not necessarily defines the difference. Krama also is only a guideline. Krama does not define the ragam at all. Krama, by when I say krama, I mean arohana, avarohana. And arohana, avarohana for raga is again made for our convenience understanding. The raga like darba or naiki, I will show you, is not within the arohana, avarohana. I will give you the arohana, avarohana, but I will see things that are beyond the arohana, avarohana. So, it is very important that we understand the raga bhava of the of the, of the Raga. That is how you will understand the difference. Now, Nayaki Darbar, the very obvious difference that most people know is the Gandharam and the Nishadam. I will start with that and then show you many other differences. In Nayaki, what happens? In the Gandharam starts on Rishabha and goes all the way to Madhyam almost. It starts on Rishabha and ends almost in Madhyam. Similarly, is what I am singing actually, if you want a solo. So the, or what you can say, the Shruti of the Gandharam, technically if you want to define it, the Shruti of the Gandharam is on Rishivam and goes all the way to Madhima and comes back. In Darbar, in fact, there is no Gandharam. I will explain to you when I say there is no Gandharam. It is only Rishivam and Madhyam. Ga, ga, di, sa, di. You ask him to play it and ask him what Swaram he plays. What song are you playing? He is playing Rima, Rima, Rima. When he says Ni, Ni, Dasada, Dasada. So the Gandharam is heard in Rishu, between that Rishu and Madhyam. It is only possible in Carnatic music that you have a concept like this. That you have a concept like this. That you have a concept like this. I am actually not singing Nishadasthana or Gandharasthana, but I am singing Gandharam and Nishadam. It is a brilliant concept. I mean, the whole concept is brilliant. We must really appreciate how a person could conceive of such a raga. Whereas in Nike, the same Gandharam starts at Rishabham and moves all the way. So this is a very obvious difference between the ragas. But there are many other things. Now this is not enough. If you want to sing Nayaki for example or Darba, it's not enough if you know only the Rishabham or the Gandharam and the uh, Nishadam to sing the ragas. There are so many other facets that make them distinct. I will make some points so I don't forget so I will cover them one by one. Very important thing Nayaki is. In Nayaki, first of all as a raga itself, Nayaki I will say generally is a softer raga than Darba. In, in it is softer. Of course, Nibhajana Gana is a Madhima Kalakuti. Doesn't mean that there is no Madhima Kala. But it is by tendency a softer Raga than Nike. That is because of how the Gandharam and the uh, Nishadam operates. That's why you have a softer Raga. Another very important thing is you have a lot of plain notes in, in Nike. You will never see this in Darbar. In Darbar you will see 
This is another phrase. Take Ranga Naika. Ranga. First line. Reepa, not Ranga. This is not how we start it. Ranga. Then. Ah. Reepa Mahabali. That is how he is established. Naiki. Without even seeing the Gandhara. This Mahabali is very, very important in, uh, in Naiki. Then the Badama. All flatter notes. Less Kavaka. Uh, is more darbar. Okay? Then, another thing is that the Rimapa is there in Nike. Don't think there is no Rimapa in Nike. Just to clarify people who think that there is Rimapa in Nike. But there is no Ripa in Darbar. You will never sing ta da la la ta da la la You will always sing that in Darbar. And Darbar has Mapa Danisa. If you take the Krama, Sarima Badanisa, Badanisa, Nisa, 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 Nike has Nike has Mapa Dapasa. There is no Danisa in Nike. You will never sing. Padapasa is a very important phrase in Nike. Padapasa always using Padapasa. Another thing, that Sapa Jaru. Padapasa, Vadani, Dava Mariga, Nisa. Padapasa, Nisa, 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 Vadani, Dava. Okay? So this Padapasa is also something that defines Nike very distinctly and no Mapa Danisa and lot of more Jaru's if you take the Raga generally Nike has, you know what Jaru is right? everybody knows what Jaru is everybody knows what Jaru is somebody who does not know what a Jaru is can you raise your hand? who does not know what a Jaru is? everybody knows Okay, Jaru is a kind of Gamaka a Gamaka that glides between two notes usually two notes are as uh, could be even two no notes next to each other, but to demonstrate it, I will show you. Saba is a is a slide that comes between. It's almost like a like a fan. This is a jagu. Mahabari. These prayogas are called jagu, which kind of gamaka. This jagu prayogas is much more in Nike. You do not sing Jaru Prayagas much in Darbar. You should not sing the Jaru Prayagas much in Darbar because immediately it will sound like Nike. Immediately it will sound. That's why Nike Darbar has to be handled very, very carefully because there is no difference but in Prayagas, in these Prayagas that I showed you. Another one, that Nishadam of Darbar. Very strong Nishadam. Nishadam is very, very strong. So that Rima Badani Bariva Bada 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 You can automatically hear Nike. I don't tell you. But I said It's, it's so distinct. Now when I sing both together, you yourself are able to see when I'm seeing Darba, when I'm seeing Nike, without even telling you. You can see that the color is just, just opposite. Same notes, just opposite color. So another thing is, is Nishadam is very, very strong. Yo Channa Sapa, 
sio wewe singe tu ndio singe paradaba dio tum hasa wato bagari pa paradaba bari gari sa yo chana kamala ya yo chana Mari, 
Salah, the Sapa is very, very essential jaru in Nayaki. Well, Nisa Dapa is very essential in the Darbar. There are exceptions to this rule. One thing I have to tell you. There are always exceptions. Classic example for an exception is Ranganayaka Varupalli. This is an exception, but there is a way to explain this exception also. See the way that Devatam is used. Rita is never used. That Devatam does not have the strength of Darbar. Then what comes? It's very important that in Karnatic ragas, we go beyond the scale of the raga. This is something I want to say in between here. Because in ragas like Nayaki and Darbar, it's very easy to say that Aron, Aron, this, why are you seeing Nisa, Dapa, there, you should not sing. So we'll change it. There is this new tendency to change all Kritis. Because they say it does not come. The crown, they look at the page and say, oh, it should come only Nisa, Dapa, Mari. It's come Nisa, Pa, it's come Nisa, Dapa. So we'll sing. Angaja, ta, 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 manan. We can correct it. It takes one second to correct it. But you don't need to correct it. Put it in context. Never break a piece of music. When we start cutting into pieces, we'll find 15 mistakes. But see how beautifully it's structured. Immediately you know it can be only Nayaki. It sounds like Nayaki. It cannot be Darbar. So Nisa Dapa with a very strong Devatam is very, very important. In fact, you have to keep on singing. There is no Kala Pramanam only in Kriti. The Ragas have a Kala Pramanam. The Kala Pramanam of Nayaki Raga is slower than the Kala Pramanam of Darbha. The moment I try singing a Nayaki like in, in a faster Kala Pramanam, the tendency will be it will start sounding like that. Unfortunately. There are Madhima Kala Kritis like, uh, like uh, Ni Vajra. But even Ni Vajra is not super speed. Ni Even when I am singing Madhimakala, it still sounds like night. It is because of the way I am singing this song. And I will say, Nisa Nisa Bada Mabari, Mabari Ra, Nisa Nisa How do I sing Gandhara on second speed? This is one major problem for people in Nayaki. I have encountered so many people. I can't sing Nisa How can I sing in second speed? How will I sing that Gandhara? How will I sing that uh, so you sing it is Dani Dabba, Dani Dabba, Tiga Risa, Tiga Risa, that's all. Gaga Risa, Darbha. Rima Bada Bada Mabari Ga Risa, Rima Bada Bada Nita Bada 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 Risa, Risa, Rima Bada Risa, 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 Bada Mabari Ga Risa, 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 my Guru used to sing brilliant swarams, Shamur Shimra said, in the same Kriti. Me Bhajara Gala Sikula used to sing swarams, only one hour for some, he'll sing around 30, one after another. Everybody thinks Nike is a raga that does not have scope. But he would sing swarams like, like it's raining. One hour from swarams, one after one after another. And each time will be a new approach. So the Deva Tadni, Tisha Nidhani, Vada Bajani, Sabadani, Sari Bhavabhani, Veda Bhavabhani, Mabari Gari Zani. 
So it's so it's very important that you you understand the the chayas of the ragas. What are the phrases that makes the ragas essentially naiki or essentially garba? Then all these phrases have to be continuously sung. Then there is something very interesting about Nayaki, especially if you take the Kati Ranganayaka. Now I told you that the Gandhara, but Ranganayaka seems to use one another Gandhara, which is different from this. Ranganayakam. See, it's a different Gandhara. This is not that People sing it like that now. But I, this Gandharam is sung by many people, if you listen to most versions, this one, different Gandharam is there in this prayer room. A very interesting, very unique to this Kriti. I have not seen it in any other Kriti till now. This is also something you must note that this kind of usage is there. Ranka again, Ripa Ranka Naga Yaki again, Yaki Dani Dani Bada Tigadi Sakmi Dava. So there is this usage of a different um, Gandharam and Devata in this Kriti, which suits this composition beautifully and in the whole scene if I, if I had not told you this you would have never noticed it you would have never noticed it if I didn't tell you that there is this different Gandharam Devatam when you heard Ranganayakam you would have never heard it it goes so beautifully with the, with the, raga, the raga and the Khati now about Darbar I want to say something before I proceed now the Darbar as we know it today is what I explained to you now in Carnatic music when we talk about allied ragas there is another important concept we need to understand which I think we do not talk about. There are two totally different schools of ragas. First we need to know it. One is the Venkatamakim school, which also is served to Madhakarthas. Some people use the word Asampurna Venkatamakim, which is, uh, some people say it's not Asampurna, don't call it that. Another one is what is used, we all use, uh, the, uh, the Karakangi Ratrangi scale, which is Govindas. This is what is popular, Karkangi Ratrangi. Now the other Karkambari school, that is the first, the first uh, Mela is Karakambari in the Venkatamakhin. The Venkatamakhin Paddadi was followed completely by Muthuswami Dikshita. And the Govinda Paddadi was completely followed by Tagaraj Swami and uh, Shama Shastri also to a large extent. They used this school. Now both these schools were aware of each other's existence. They knew about the other system, this system knew about us, but they maintained their own distinctness. Now why am I talking about this? The reason is there are ragas which are have the same name but are totally different in both systems. Or same ragas that should be sung differently in both systems. Classic example is an Ananda Bhairi. I'll explain to you later. But Ananda Bhairavi of Dikshita school is totally different Ananda Bhairavi of Ananda Bhairavi of Shama Shashri Tagaraja. So when you sing a Raga Alapana for an Ananda Bhairavi for a Tagaraja Kriti, it has to be different. Whereas a Raga Alapana for Ananda Bhairavi for a Manu Amava, for a Dikshita composition has to be different. This is very important because people ignore the Dikshita school of Raga Lakshanas. The Raga Lakshanas are totally different. Why I am saying this is because the Darbar of Dikshita school is totally different. In fact, it even sounds like Karna. I don't remember. In fact, I know a couple of comments. I know Hala Sinatham, I used to sing it now. I don't remember it. But I can show you some phrase. How these phrases, when I first learned this composition, I was totally shocked that this was Darbar. This is nothing like the Darbar we sing. For example, there's a phrase like There's a phrase, this Pama Gama Risa, which we sing in Karna today regularly, is regularly there in Darbar of the Ikshita compositions. How do we know this? It's because of a great text called the Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini, which was written in 1904 by Subrahma Dikshita, who happens to be Muthuswami Dikshita's brother's grandson. He has uh, written 229 compositions of Dikshita in the Pradarshini with Raga Lakshanas, with Sancharis with brilliant descriptions in one of the greatest texts that you could ever have. 
and if you look at the darbar as given there it is totally different it is all the this pama gamari sa which we sing in kannada is regularly there in this darbar so i just i want to just mention this to you because if tomorrow if you learn a darbar kriti or dikshita there are tendencies that today everything has been changed to a regular darbar of today uh, there is a normal things that are happening i would say please try and learn darbar as it should be sung in the dikshita school because that darbar has its own color own flavor and very very different so darbar and naiki like i said these are the main the main differences i think i have already mentioned i don't think i have missed out anything um is the way the gavakas are sung the usage of mapari ripa sapa and the flatter notes of naiki as compared to darbar the madhyamam is very strong in darbar uh, nishadam is very strong in darbar all these identical notes have a milder flavor in naiki madhyamam especially is always sung flat 99% of the time time to see the madhyam ta pa ma pa ta pa ta ma pa ma ta pa ma ma pa ri ga i sa ri pa ma ba ga see these are all these kind of runs can be easily sung in darbar can never sung it in thing like I think I've covered most thing. Any questions about it? Well, no, I will not use this Nisa Dapa. No, naturally I will not use. No, I will not. Huh? No. For example, I never sang. No, I sang Nayak Swaram. I sang Rokya Five Six Swaram. I never sang Nisa Dapa. Well, I know that is Nisa Dapa. Natural. Nisa Dapa, my dear, that is Nisa. You see, Nisa Dapa immediately I hear the bar there. The exception I told you is the Rangana Ikam phrase, which is there, Nanga Jada, Dalapalli, which is there, Nisa Dapa. But the, again, it's a different kalpana, and in that kalpana, if I sing Kiri Kala Swaram, for example, my dear, that is Nisa dear, 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 If it comes when you are singing in the in the flow of swaram, it's a different thing. You understand? But tendency will be nisa pa pa da pa sa nisa pa. If you want to know what to sing, I will say do not sing nisa da pa. I will say don't sing nisa da. You see, some things are sung in lakshya. Okay, our music has a great balance of lakshana and lakshya. Now this lakshya cannot be defined. How does one person learn lakshya? Get lakshya? Through also knowing a lot of lakshya, only if you know lakshya very well, will you will your lakshya know where to use what? So, as per lakshya, as if ada apa asani zaba, please keep that. Zaba keep that constant. Don't use asani zaba, don't use it. Ada apa ni sa, very important. Ada apa ni la ni ni zaba. See even the way I'm singing only charu. Ada apa ni la ni. Ma ba ba ma ba ba ni ba ba. 
Now, uh, now we said this, I will give you another very important thing. Those Rigaris I told you, can I have uh, any, can I, anybody who is Ithro Mahanubhav, who knows Ithro Mahanubhav? Can you give me a mic, ask them to sing the first line? Ah, first line. I am just digressing a little bit, but uh, it has a relevance. Anybody sing? Sing, sing, just sing, first line, that's all. Get your body. I'll have one line, but I'll go. Two. Any other questions? Or Nike and Darbar only, please. No questions? Can I proceed? Okay, now that we went to Shri, actually I was not planning to do Shri first, now we, as we did Shri, we will go to the next set of allied ragas. Shri Ragam, Madhimavati, Madhivangu. Most people are confused about these three ragas. These three ragas have the same swaras in terms of sthana, position of the swara, swara sthana. Of course, there is an arohana, avarohana difference in all the three. Can you sing the arohana, avarohana, all the three? Sarima banisa, sarima marisa. Okay. Shri Ragam, 
सदी मगनी जा इधर सनी बदनी भवदी गदी सा और सनी भवदी गदी सा आई मीन बोथ आर एक्सेप्टेबल डज एनीबॉडी नो व्हाई यू हैव दिस बदनी पमा हां व्हाई व्हाट व्हाई हां व्हाई अब नीचे इस साइड जाएगा जगती, नो पादनी, there is no पादनी इन जाएगा जगती। ओके, इन जाएगा जगती बोल रहा है, सानी पामर रीगा रीसा, ओके? Very interesting, do you know why that you have this पादनी पाम? इन जो दिखती है सब बताएं, और वेंकटा बच्चे ने सब बताएं। The वेंकटा बच्चे ने सब बताया, I was known as the असंपूर्ण मेला पत्ती, in which Sri Ram is a mela, there is no karana priya. ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मेरा करता इस श्री इन वेंकटा मुखिया ने बता दी दो वर्ड्स कॉल्ड असंपूर्ण मेरा पता दी इट इस कॉल्ड असंपूर्ण बिकॉज़ यू डोंट हैव ऑल द सेवेन नोट्स इन ऑर्डर अप एंड डाउन दैट्स व्हाई नाउ डेज वी कॉल इट द रूल इन द पता दी इस देवर बी सेवेन नोट्स इन एजर वन वे सो इफ यू so you had sani padani pamadi garisa it made it a mela only then it followed the route to mela also this padani pa is used only once in all the shita kirtanas it is not used as a regular phrase it is used if you are not saying only once i don't think it comes in more than once in any of the kirtis padani pa is an apura prayam and it makes sri raga fit into the mela padati or the venkatamathin school That's why you have padani pa in the Venkata Mithil uh, Padadi. You don't have padani pa in the Govindas or the the, the Karagangi Ratnagi uh, nomenclature because Shri is not a mela karta. Shri is a general. Okay. What's the crown? When I say again, Aro Vana Avaro Vana Krama of Mani Rangu. Anybody knows? Yes. Sari Mabani Sa Sari Mabani Sa. Sari Mabani Sa Sari Mabani Sa. Okay. Sure. Okay. So now, how will I differentiate between these three ragas? Is the only way to differentiate the ragas by continuously singing Riga Risa and Sri Ragu, continuously singing Pamaga Risa in in Mani Rangu, or is there anything more that makes these ragas different? That is the important question. Because when you sing, if you want to sing ragas for Mani Rangu. Or Sri Raga, especially Madhva Vati, you will sing because it's Dharma Parisa, Dharma Parisa. You will sing generally. How will I handle it? When I sing Madhva Vati Raga, I am going to sing Mama Vati Thavira. How will I sing the Raga? Who is supposed to handle it? Now, in Madhva, first we start with Madhva Vati and then proceed to the other two. It's very important to note how to sing the Nishadam and Nishadam. Of late, I find that there are a lot of manhandling of that Nishadam, especially makes it sound like Brindavan Saraga. You please realize that Brindavan Saraga. The North Indian Brindavan Saraga, Muranga, Pura is exactly same swaras as Madhima Vati. Sare Mabani Sa, Sani Pamari Sa, Ni Sa, Ni Sare Mabani Sa, Ni Sare Mabani Sa. There is no difference. So if you sing Salani in Madhya Vati, lot of people I've heard sing this Nishadam. Nishadam has to be Mahabani always. Not even once in your lifetime you must sing Mahabani, Mahabani sa sani Mahabani sa ni sa ni ba. Only place you sing. Nishadam flat is using gender. Ni 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 sa ni ba. Vivi ma ma ni ni ni. Using that using it plain. Otherwise, ba ba ni sa ni ba ni sa ni ba ni sa ni ni sa ni sa ba sa ba. See how the Nishadam comes. It's so Carnatic. If I can use that word. I'll similarly show. Ni sa ni. When I sing Madhima Vati, all I've seen. Everybody knows it is Madhima Vati. I don't have to sing any other swaram at all. It can't be any other raga. So Madhima Vati, the nishadam is very, very strong. This is one characteristics 
that makes it different from Manilangu or the other ragas. The Nishadam of Madhimavati is the strongest among the three ragas. Similarly, the Rishvam, this elongation of Rishvam is never there in, in both Madhimangal or in Sri Raga. The Rishvam elongation is there only in Madhimavati. Mm, I'll just sing a part of the Kriti. Ramakata First line Ramakata Sudha Shri next. 
那位西呢？那我好久没听西的。呃，这个西蒙 is absolutely clean. There is no gamaka on the show of the Shiva. Only if you sing the show of blame can you sing the Gandhar of that side. You sing the... You can't sing Gandhar of the Singhari. The moment you shake the show, you are already going to Gandhar. You can ask him. He is the best person to ask the person who plays an instrument. Because they are the ones who know exactly what sthana they are playing. We sing and go away coolly. Half the time we don't even know the sthana, I am sure. We sing because we know how much it sounds. But they have to know where their fingers have to be. So re has to be straight. Gandharam goes from Rishivam and ends at Ga. Yandaruma Nahavakusuma Nahavakusuma So the Rishivam. But it is possible to show you Sri Ragam without seeing Gandha. If I am going to start a Sri Ragam Alapana. Everybody knows I am going to sing Sri Ragam. I have sung Rima Bani Bani. That's all I will sing. What will I sing next? This has to be. Never Madhivati. Does not like Madhivati anybody here? That is Madhivati. So, if you notice, one standing thing is the level of Gamakas in Sri Ragam is less as compared to Madhivati. And also, Pamari, Pamari, the Vishwam. When you come on the descent, comes from the Madhya like a glide, always. Pamari, Pamari, Re Pamari, Re Mabani Pamari, Re Mabani Zedi Gani Zedi Pamari. The Rishwa glides from Madhya and comes down to me in Shrikar, always. So this is, some, this, is a, this is a very important point because you must be able to sing Sri Raga without constantly going to Riga Risa, Riga Risa, Riga Risa. If you want to sing in Panchavam, how will you sing? I don't lift that knee and push it up to such a Rima Bani Sa Saniva Pamari Jadisa It's a very subtle difference on how the Nishadam is sung between Sri Ragam and Madhavati but that makes a world of a difference when the whole picture of the Raga Lapana When you sing Rima Bani Saniva you can never sing that in Sri Ragam it will never sound like Sri Ragam. Deva Bani Bani Baba Bani Baba Bani Sadi Gari Sadi Baba Bani Sadi Gari Sadi Gari Sadi Gari Sadi 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 Pani Zari never. Pani Zari 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 So Sri Ragam, the way the Nishadam is sung in association with the Rishwam. Nizari Nizari Zari 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 has to be very important. The knee is sung with a much faster note or a faster book, Pani Zadi, Pani Zadi, you don't usually sing, Pani Zadi, Krikalam, Rema Pani Zadi, see I have so much time, Rema Pani Zadi, I don't sing, Rema Pani Zadi, so it's better, 
Ah, she like one of them. Good example, I'll show you. Sami Oh my God, 
ಮಾಪನಿ ಮಾನಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಮಡಿರು ಫ್ರೇಸ್ just a small shake ma mani ma ga de ma pa ni ma ni ba ma ga de sa ni ba sa ni ba ni ma ni ba ma ga so if you see my little keyboard sing ni ba ni ma ni ba i'll keep singing this i'll continuously sing this this kind of phrases ma 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 ni ba ni ma ni ba ma ba ga de sa ni ni sa ni ma ga you can you hear the difference in the flavor it's very very subtle but there is a definite difference in the flavor of the way the nishadams are sung in shri ragam pani rani bhavani pani rani va pani pani mani bhavaga di padi ram pani ni sa ba ba ma ba ni ba ma di ri sa mati bhavati without singing coming to the panchama section i can show you pani ni ba ni sa ni ba ba ni ra ni ba ni ra ni ba ba ni ba ni ba ni ba ni ba ni ni ba ma ma so it's uh, especially with sri ragam and madhyavati you would find that the nishadams are similar sri ragam madhyavati sri ragam sorry sri ragam and madhyam you would find the nishadams are very similar but it's a question of the context of singing it's very important that we know this how do we sing this phrase in this place no phrase is can you can pluck out three notes and say how can you sing this that note in context with what is sung before it and what is sung after it is very important so if you're going to sing a madirangu ala pra it is very important that you know that raga 150% which means you know at least four five compositions that raga the only way you can learn a raga is by learning more krutis in that raga there is no other way of learning a raga there's no other way if you know krutis in the raga you can understand because you understand approaches now if i go to sing a raga tanu pelli madirangu i can sing it because i know so many compositions in raga and i can understand if i if i i know automatically naturally the progression of a certain phrase if i sing a phrase i know how to develop with that phrase and how the gavakas should come with that phrase you see madirangu shiraga especially are very 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 close when i write this whole area is almost the same the thing that will make it different is the way you sing mani pasani sani pani mani pani mani bhavaga this this that whole kind of phrasing this kind of phrasing is a classic 
but even the phrasing. You will not sing the scale of phrasing in Madhyamata. You will not find it in any composition. Even if you take the whole Hindu Mahanu Bhagavad from first to end, you will not find this kind of phrasing. So, basically I think I have covered most points on these three ragas. Any questions? Any questions? No questions. I think you should illustrate the chemistry part of it in combination of the swaras. What, what, effect, what effect they create? In effect they health wise, huh? <laughs> Mind. Health. Sir, mind, all ragas create beautiful effects, sir. I am a very strong believer in this. You know, when I said chemistry, I was uh, um, underlining. You mean that. emotional? Bhava part. Bhava part, oh, okay. Bhava part is it's okay. Again, look, this again, this whole question of bhava is also a question of interpretation. Now, will I say that Mukhari is, what kind of emotion does Mukhari create for you? I am asking you. Do you know? What, can like, you tell me Mukhari, what emotion does it create? Mukhari, what emotion? Huh? Sad. Everybody agrees sad? Yeah. Everybody agrees Mukhari is very sad? You know there is a composition called Karu Baru Seyu Do you know what the composition is about? Something very very happy. <laughs> he is describing a city. Tyagra Swami is describing a city. It is very happy. So how do you so how how do you how can you generalize an emotion? It is very difficult. I'm just trying to answer your question. Mukari generally creates enter in a bar chintuno shabri bhagimu. It's a very pathos song. But the same raga has a different kind of emotion appeal. In the case of Madhimavati Shri Ragam and Madhidam, all I can say in terms of emotional appeal of the three ragas is Madhimavati in tendency is a stronger raga in comparison to this. How it emotionally appeals to the person, unfortunately I don't think I'm able, I can comment on that. Because I am a person who believes that the emotional appeal has a lot to do with the composition that is sung also and also due to the emotional condition of the person who is singing it. <laughs> I don't think I agree with you there because essentially you say that the Kriti, Kriti ultimately desires the fate of the Raga. No, you misunderstood me. <laughs> No, it's yes. not the case. Well, I know a little music I'm trying to explain to you. The Kriti definitely gives you the emotion of the Raga without any doubt. If you disagree with me, you are more welcome to do so. Then I'll have to say that Tyagra Swami also has to disagree with you. <laughs> because the same Tyagra Swami has composed a pathos song in the same Raga, and the same Tyagra Swami has made a happy song in the same Raga. So the emo, all I am saying is the emotional appeal of the, of the composition of the Raga, whether it is an Alapana or whether it is a Kriti, in both cases, depends on the way it is being rendered by the musician. The same raga can have a sad appeal, the same raga can have a happy appeal or different emotional flavors. It completely goes with the context, not of the composition, but context of... Oh, no problem. Context of the rendition. You misunderstood me, not the composition, but the rendition. Irrespective of whether it's a Kriti or Alapra, or a Kalpana Sura or Naival, it doesn't matter anything it is. It, uh, a same Raga can have different kind of emotional appeals. Depends on the context of rendition. For example, Neem Vajana Gana Rasukula is totally different emotional appeal as Ranganayakam. Both are the same Raga, but have a totally different emotional appeal. When you listen to Neem Vajana Gana, you have a much more excited appeal as well as a listener. When you listen to Ranganayakam, it's almost peaceful. Almost shantam, total shantam. Same raga, two different composers have given a two different emotional content to the composition. Therefore, a raga's emotional appeal differs by rendition of the raga by different individuals or the same individual on different days. I can tell you this from personal experience. That when I sing a Mukhari today, I have sung the same Mukhari with two different emotional impact on myself. Forget about the audience. To be honest, I care about the audience second. Most important is how I enjoy my music first and what impact it has on me. The same Mukhari I can sing, I have sung with different emotional impacts on myself. So it depends on so many contextual things. Uh, the more complicated thing, there is no thing I can go on on that. All I can say is that the emotional appeal differs from rendition to rendition, composer to composer, artist to artist. There are so, too many variables. But in general, Madhimavati is a much stronger raga, whereas Madhiranga is possibly the mildest 
among the three, much softer, or I can say softer as compared to the three. Shri Ragam is somewhere in between. It can flow depending on the composition. Nama Kusamaracha is very different. Yathura Mahabalu is very different. So, um, I guess it can flow between both. This is, this is the only generalized emotional content I can give. I've been asked to give a break for five minutes. So, I will stop now. Thank you.